How to add months to a date in Excel. Calendar dates play a crucial role when it comes to time series data. In Excel, dates are treated differently from numbers and text, and Excel has many formatting options and ways in which dates can be used in functions and functions for dates themselves. Here we are going to see how to add months to a date, and we will use a function called eDate for that. In this example, I have a loan that started on the 1st of February and I have five installments and the months in which they are due. I'm going to use eDate to add the number of months, uh, due months, to the start date to find out the exact date on which the installment is due. So let's take a look at eDate. I type equals, type eDate. I can see that it returns a serial number uh, of the date and then the arguments I need to enter the start date, I click on that comma and the number of months and close brackets and press enter. So when I do that, as uh, described earlier, eDate uh, returns a serial number. I now need to format this as a date. So I right click, go to the format cells option. This opens the window. I select date under category and choose a date format any one of the date formats, so I've chosen this. Now I need to copy this to the rest of the cells. So of course for that, I need to make the loan start date constant, by selecting the cell reference and clicking F4. And I now have this, and I can drag the formula down to the rest of the cells. I now have a neat little calendar of the dates on which each of these installments are going to fall due. Now a few, uh, the important thing to remember about eDate is that the date, the start date that is used in the formula has to be formatted as a date. It cannot be formatted as text. If so, it will give an error when trying to use the eDate function. So this is how you can add months to a date in Excel. Please read the appended article for more information.